What's going on guys, Tony Bagel here, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. And, last we left off, we were in this weird dungeon thing, making our way into Rockcliffe Castle. Sounds the courtyard, folks. Ah, oh, God, it's fair. good to get back into some games. Ah, oh, still need to do my Nintendo E3 stuff now. After I record some of this, I need to watch the Nintendo E3 and take some notes on that. Get that up, and I need to do so many things as well. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Lock this. I'll open the gates. Run! Where are you, man? A bit of mighty blow. A bit of mighty blow. Revenant, Revenant, kill the Revenant. Sunday arms. Go shatter his armor, Tony. Come on, Tony. Come on, Tony. Feel it. <laughs> there he's going to oh, feel it. Yeah, nice kill there. Easy kill. Son to the arms. Buzzark. More noon. It's torn. It's a puff. Hey, sorry about guys. Volume 2. Yes. Let's go into the hall together. Excellent. Let us go now and see what awaits us there. We've been watching the World Cup lately. Ha! <laughs> England's out. Ah. Ah. England's out. Ah. That was so funny. Been watching a bit more me three lately in the, the advanced Call of Duty Advanced Warfare really surprised me. I really found it pretty cool. Really enjoyed it actually, and I'd really love to see a bit more of it. What the bloody hell? Yeah, that is distracting it. Story of my life. He is not responsible for what he does. And that's the story of my life. I have no intention of hurting him. I wish I could say the same. Wait. No, I don't. Oh, I didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. And made a deal with the demon to do so? Foolish child. It was a fair deal. Father is a liar. Just as I wanted. And now it's my turn to sit on the front and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody. <laughs> Quiet, uncle. I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things. 
Goddamn kids. This man will have the audience he seeks. Tell us, what have you come here for? Don't kids know you should never make deals with demons? I came here to help if I could. To help me? To help father? To help yourself? Who is it? To help myself, of course. Well, you can't have anything. The castle, the village, it's all mine. We don't like these neck grubby hands, do we, Mother? I... I don't <laughs> think... Of course you don't. Ever since you sent the knife away... <laughs> ah, I called you out. Your son called you Frankly, out. Ah, your son called you out. I crave excitement and action. This man spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village, and now he'll repay me. All right. Oh, oh, Tegan. Want to fight me, bruh? I'm joking. I don't want to kill him, but I have to survive. Sorry, Ben Tegan, but you have to die. Yeah, pommel strike. Do not resist my pommels. Shale, don't you dare hit my kill. Shale, I want to kill you so bad. So much, Shale. Sons of your arms. Don't you know? I, I hate you. I hate all of you. I hate all of you. Tegan. Oh, thank God. Tegan, are you alright? I am better now, I think. My mind is my own again. Blessed Andras, too. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. The fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. I'm not about to kill a child. Connor is no longer a child. He's an abomination. You! You did this to Connor! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I told you. Please, if you'll let me help. Help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? This is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? He was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. He's no more to blame than you are, Lady of Sold. How dare you! If this man hadn't poisoned my husband, none of this would have happened. He should be executed. Your secrecy made his actions possible, Lady Sold. But I... I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry. I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help. Not yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination... He's not always the demon you saw. The Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please, I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the maid to teach Connor in secret, to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... Well, John, what could you add to this, this discussion? The demon in Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade, then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages. But I have... blood magic. What difference does that make? Lyrium provides the power for the ritual. 
But I can take that power from someone's life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. So, someone must die. Someone must be sacrificed. Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. It's something to consider. I agree. And I offer my own life. I will be the sacrifice. Oh, thank God. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. It does seem like a sensible choice. We're the willing participant. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. It, uh, it's up to you, my friend. You know more about such things than I do. I'm a dwarf. And it's your companion going into the Fade. The decision is yours. I'm a dwarf. I know nothing about the Fade. There must be another way to enter the Fade. It requires Lyrium and more mages. You won't find them anywhere outside the circle of Magi, I suspect. No, I'll take too much time. And there's not much more to say. Something else will need to be done. There's not enough time to do that. There's not enough time. Look, guys, I know you're a child. You're gonna tell me, hey, he's telling me, you know, you should play this game before. But, guys, I'm trying to show you what my first reactions for this was. These are my first choices, what I made in every turn. And in my first turn, I just didn't think there was enough time. I really didn't, and I'm gonna stick by that. Are you sure you're ready to die, Lady Assault? If there is even a chance to save Connor, I am. You rest your hopes on this young mage. He poisoned Eamon, and he could take your life power and attack for all we know. You would be a fool to try. No, I am willing to take his word. I would give my life for the chance to undo what I have done. I still do not agree, but it cannot be my choice. Then I know what we must do. My son awaits your decision. Make it quickly. We let Jowen cast a ritual. Thank you. If this will save my son, then I am not afraid. Then who will go into the fate? One of your companions? Morgan can do it. I notice you do not ask me first. No matter. I will go as I am your willing slave. Yes. You have my eternal Love gratitude. Love you, Morgan. Make go with you, madam. I certainly hope not. That would be rather distracting. <laughs> Lovely. Let's get someone else possessed, shall we? Then let's... Let's get this started. Gotta love Morgan. Gotta love her. I trust her. See? Book magic doesn't look that bad. It's all white and glowy. I don't know why it's forbidden. Why would it be forbidden? It looks so nice. So peaceful. Nothing's bad's happening. Nothing's bad's happening just yet. Even with this dripping blood. Even with this dripping blood. Nothing bad's. Oh, that's why it's forbidden. That's why it's forbidden. Right. In hindsight, I really should have saw that coming. Well, I'm going to cut it off here. So, as always, folks, thanks for watching. Please tune in next. Thanks for watching, guys.